Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today I am presenting my completed diamond paintings for 2021. I checked on my spreadsheet and I completed 31 pieces for the year 2021. I'm happy with that. That's just slightly more than two pieces per month on average and that's enough for me to justify keeping this going as a hobby. I know it's not a lot compared to a lot of people and it may be some more compared to others but I personally am happy with that figure. So I will show you what I have completed and in, it's in no particular order apart from really showing it in size order. Now some of these I did show in uh, my completed video up till August of 2021. So if you've seen that, I apologize, there will be some repeating of some of the pieces, but it's easier just to show the whole bunch in one video. So for the first two pieces, I will just put up a picture here on the screen and they were my Christmas pieces that I completed being the snowman and the Santa Claus mask. I have done a video of the unboxing and post review of these and that can be found on my channel. Moving on to items that can be displayed on a wall. I have this awesome sun catcher skull that came with all of the attachments to make these dangles which was I really liked and I have found a place to put that uh, sun catcher skull so I will be putting that up after <laughs> I filmed here and also this one has been living on my wall for a while it was the abstract like almost mandala pattern that came with a little tassel and that lives on my wall as well. Moving into the smaller pieces that I completed, we've got some Disney so the ones that don't have a cardboard backing I did in the latter half of the year so yeah, I haven't actually filed them away yet. And there's Eeyore. Now for this one, as you can see, it, it was meant to be a square one, but I didn't feel like doing the entire background. So I just did some washi tape to frame it and I'll cut it off in that almost a house pattern. Which I'm finding, I, if there's a lot of background, I don't necessarily feel like doing the entire background all the time so yeah that might be something you see this was a partial now this was the very first one I did for 2021 my little crystal piggy so as you can see the ones here now that have the background have been put away in their safekeeping display box And I spoke about them more in my uh, video that I will link to the bottom in the description here of the completions I've done from January to August. So I went into more details with all of these. That's a full crystal tiger. This one, I absolutely adored this one. Still love it, coming back to see it. This is such a pretty piece. And this one as well. And here we have roughly the 30 by 40s. Again, being on a background, I have discussed these already. But this one's beautiful. This one I gushed about on the video when I did the post review of it. I absolutely love this pattern and I've just recently bought this in a cross stitch as well. 
So I love to see how that comes out in cross stitch to do it. He was some crystal cacti. This one I have done a post review for as well. This one was done in Spooktober. I believe I did this one in Spooktober as well. And a message we can all live by. Okay, this one was done very early in the year. I believe it was January. Okay, so we're going up to the bigger ones, which are the 40s by 50s, roughly. And again, all of these are on cardboard, so the original... Um, review of these will be in that video I linked down below where I give you how I felt about each piece but we have the unicorn Gamer Girl by DIY Moonshop The Controller by Gemmet African lady and the cat. And there's this one that I have framed. I haven't put it up on a wall yet, but this one I did, I think it was February. And it was a craftably piece. And that's 30, if I've counted correctly. So number 31 is this big piece that I did during Spooktober of this year. And it is a Diamond Art Club. That should be 31 diamond paintings. I'm pretty sure I picked them all that were according to my spreadsheet, but there they are. As I said, I will link in the description the first half I did, which was January to August, which goes into more details of the ones that you saw on the cardboard. We're going forward for 2022. Again, I'm happy to complete around 30 for a year, considering I do colouring and cross-stitch and love to do other hobbies like miniatures and practice drawing, things to that resin as well. I don't just do diamond painting, so as I say, 30, I am really happy with 30 for a year. I'm not in a competition with anyone, so except myself. Leave a comment below on what you thought of these pieces. Have you done any of these pieces? Were there some that you are interested in? I can give you more information if you let me know down below. If you go back and look at my diamond painting playlists as well, you can see some of the unboxings and post reviews for these pieces. I have also recently started a Patreon page and I have a Ko-fi page as well. So if you are interested and I emphasize there is no pressure, but if you're interested to join my Patreon, it is for three US dollars a month. I only have the one tier. It's called the Stay Weird tier and you will get your name as a thank you at the end of each video if you want. If you don't want your name, that's perfectly fine as well. And also you'll be in the running to win an original piece made by me once every two months I will do that. So six chances a year. I do need about six Patreons 
or patrons before I actually start doing that draw just to make sure there's a bit of variety and a chance to make it feel like an actual competition <laughs> to win and that is worldwide so regardless of where you live there is no limitations on being in that draw again if you're not interested in being in the draw you don't have to and if you're not interested in doing a monthly subscription you can also do a Kofi, which is a one-off payment where you buy me a coffee <laughs> so to speak but again i emphasize no pressure it's just getting it out there so you are aware so i think that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed it if this is your first time to my channel please consider subscribing that would be awesome also everybody please hit that notification bell so you are up to date when I upload my videos. It will be two to three times a week in 2022. Wednesdays and Saturdays will be the main days with the occasional Mondays thrown in. So everybody please stay safe, stay weird, hiss at a COVID idiot and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.